Hi everybody, the Droog here from Angry White Boy Gaming, and I'm doing another review today, and I'm doing it on WWF SmackDown 2 Know Your Role for the PlayStation 1. Now, I'm a big wrestling fan, so you are going to see me do a lot of wrestling games from time to time. Um, I've got a lot more that I'd love to do in review. This one had as many perks as it does minuses. That's the sad thing with it. Um, you had many, many different match types. You had a very nice um, selection of the WWE superstars on the roster to pick from. Um, and again, this is this game was 99, I believe, early 2000. So you again, you're going back to the Attitude Era a little bit, which I think was the best time in wrestling. You have got the I Quit match in this game. You've got the Casket match. This was the first one to add the Hell in a Cell. So I mean, you have many, many good things there. And for being PlayStation One at the time, because this was the last WWF game for the PlayStation One, the graphics were relatively good. Now, here's what I believe. I believe that you were only as good as your storyline especially in a wrestling game or career mode, whatever you want to call it in this particular one, it's season mode. Now, here's my problem with it. First and foremost, it took too long. It was insanely long for a wrestling game. You've got to complete six full seasons to get everything unlocked, and that includes your extra superstars, um, the creator wrestler parts, things like that. And it, it's it's really boring because it'll go into the storylines that you just keep seeing over and over and over again. It's the same thing. It could be something such as Farouk has lost tonight's match and is you know disappointed about it, and you see him stomping around in the back room. Okay, the loading times for this thing aren't that great. So when you're doing that, you're taking something that should take you a week to do. Um, it, it it's too long, and that's really what killed it for me. Um, I ended up where I only did title matches and then wrestlers to uh, matches to get the created wrestler parts unlocked. I thought it was very, very boring. It was very, very long, and I'm sorry, uh, WWE now, but they don't make storylines like that anymore. That was atrocious. That does not need to be done, and I think that's one of the reasons why the SmackDown series died out as fast as it did was due to the storylines like this. Um... Now, I again, I this was coming out of the Attitude Era. I love how you get the, they had the finisher set up to where you just click the one button when the opponent's dazed, and it does it. Um, another thing that I love, and I'm going to show you a clip of this, is in the Hardcore or Fall Anywhere matches, you have a wide variety of, of, of backstage to go through. Um, you've got cafes locker rooms, um, front of the building, you can actually go outside and go to different places across the street, and I love that feature, and I've, and other than a, another, I think it was one or two more games, they quit doing it, and I think that it was silly of them to stop doing that, so I'm going to show you a clip of that real quick. So it's little things like that, if you ask me, that make this game really worth playing. Um, I would advise, if you would like to have everything unlocked, buy a Game Shark. There's codes on there. Get it done in a few seconds compared to the amount of time it's going to do. And I, and I think that they went for the long season mode to hold people over until the next one came out. But 
I'd rather just get it done with, get my stuff unlocked, or at least have a really good storyline. And I think that's something that wrestling games do nowadays is the storylines are very, very good. They're very well written. You know, you don't even have voiceover for this one. And you're reading uh, dialogue boxes still, which is okay because, again, the first wrestling game that did actually did voiceover um, for the wrestlers in story mode was, if I'm not bad, I'm mistaken, SmackDown vs. Raw, the original one. Um, but that's years in the future compared to this one. But... Other than season mode, I do recommend the game. I think it's got. I think the gameplay is wonderful on it. The backstage areas are amazing. You've got so many different match types. The hardcore matches are a lot of fun. Um, of course, you want to put your opponent at the announce table. Go ahead. Now, the other small issue you have with the game was the Hell in a Cell match. If you're a wrestling fan, you know the Hell in a Cell is a gigantic cage that is even out onto the floor. And this one, it just surrounds the ring. But you can put your opponent through the top of it. Now, as many of you guys are familiar with the Mankind Undertaker uh, Hell in a Cell, you cannot throw your opponent off the cell through the announce table. It doesn't work. You cannot jump on top of them while they're laying on the announce table because they will move and you either go through the announce table or you miss. So, yeah. A long game for a very short review. Um, so if you are a wrestling fan and you don't have this, Get a game shark, something with a cheat on it where you can unlock everything and play through this game. It's a lot of fun when you're doing just exhibition matches. Season mode is dull. So, due to the fact, like I said in the beginning of the video, your game is only as good as your career mode, season mode, story, whatever uh, your game's calling it. You're only as good as that unless you're going for straight online multiplayer, which at this point in time was non-existent. So, for that, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. I'm giving it the five because the exhibition's great for its time and it can't take that away. But to get everything done is just atrocious and it doesn't deserve to have any points. So it went half. Um, again, I'm the Drew. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any request uh, for something you'd like for me to review, please send me an email at angrywhiteboygaming at hotmail.com.